Now, Qatar has pledged $6.3 billion of investment in the UK in a show of support, as it were, for the world's fifth largest economy. And this comes just days before the Prime Minister, Theresa May, triggers formal Brexit talks. The wealthy Gulf state has about £40 billion worth of investments in the UK. That includes high-profile London landmarks like the Shard Skyscraper, a Harrods department store, the Savoy Hotel, and a stake in the Canary Wharf Financial District. The vote of confidence comes as the Bank of England warned Britain-based banks need to take steps to ensure they do not have to curb lending suddenly if the country leaves the European Union in a disorderly fashion. The Prime Minister has said she is prepared to walk away from the Brexit talks with no deal if only bad terms are offered. The government has said it is making contingency plans for this scenario, which they describe as unlikely. I think it's very clear that the Bank of England has long held an expectation that Brexit will be bad news for the economy, and therefore it is true to form that the bank is warning that it's going to be difficult. That said, the bank also has an absolute regulatory requirement to ensure that banks are well placed in a post-Brexit environment, and therefore they would be derelict in their responsibility of ensuring an orderly banking system if they didn't wag a large finger and say, guys, get on with the job. You know, everybody regards this as a risk, but of course to Qatar this will be seen also as an opportunity because they will be able to participate in the long-term strength of the UK economy. And whilst that is risky, it is certainly not more risky than Qatar's own economy.